geometry. Hopefully this finds you well. Um, sorry, sorry, I'm an amateur cameraman also. Um, you know me with technology, but anyway, uh, ho hopefully you're doing well. Today's lesson, we're gonna push forward again. I don't anticipate with you guys, you guys have done a really good job overall of following directions and doing what you're supposed to do. If you find that this is too overwhelming, please communicate that with me. Um, again, this is new territory for everyone. I don't know what's going on at your house. I don't know how much mom and dad are working, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, but I, I get it. I, I, as I'm teaching eighth grade, I'm also teaching first grade and kindergarten to my daughter. So life can be a little bit tough. So anyway, um, today's lesson, lesson is secants, tangents, and angle measures, which I think is going to be pretty basic and straightforward. Um, the main theorems that you're learning in this one um, consist of basically basically algebra equations. So if you can remember the algebraic equations, you're good. First of all, a secant is are two lines that intersect in a circle. And a uh, quick sketch. Basically an X through a circle. <laughs> That's horrible, but... Um, so the secant is where it crosses. Now, uh, mathematicians have noticed that there are certain patterns or certain ways that we can, uh, behaviors of secants that can be helpful in solving for missing sides or angles. So um, if you look at theorem number uh, 10.12, if you want to find the measure of angle one, let's say we have a secant angle of one and two, we know that it is half, uh, I should probably draw yeah. A, B, whoops, C, and D. We know that it is multiplied one half of the measure of arc AC and BD. So if we wanted to find the measure of angle one, all we'd have to do is take one half of the arc. So if we knew what the arc, uh, the measure of the arc AC would be and the measure of arc BD would be, we would take half of those, half of the sum of those. Hi, Mallory. Are you going to come downstairs and say hi? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to life at home teaching. Um, so very, very basic. And... If you look, it gives you an example for finding the measure of angle two also. Um, so I'll pause that. I'm gonna do another example here in a minute. I can only make up to five minute videos. For whatever reason, it doesn't save on my on my uh, computer. So um, these are gonna be really short, but I'm gonna make a couple today just to give you um, a rundown of everything that needs to happen. 